is a power player. The 2015 NBA Finals MVP was traded from Golden State to Memphis last summer. And since then, he's not played a minute of NBA basketball. But now he's back and taking those talents to South Beach, where he joins the Heat. So the question is, what's he been doing during his break? As Mark Spears tells us, Iguodala is using what he learned on the court to make big business power plays. Every athlete has that competitive nature about them where they, they want to do something where it's purposeful and just the nature of uh, having a good business acumen. Iguodala! It's been seven months since three-time champion Andre Iguodala has stepped onto an NBA court. During his break from basketball, the veteran has been spending more time learning to win in a new arena, entrepreneurship, and the venture capitalist investment world. Now we leverage that to go to other brands, and then now we leverage that to we make our own clothes. A lot of athletes uh, have interests outside the game, uh, but we've never quite figured out how do you have that right balance. Because while you're in the game, they want you to just focus on the game. You know, there's nothing else to be but that. Uh, because you know what's at stake, and that's where you start to see a lot of players have that that anxiety in terms of uh, who they will become or never getting out of who they were as an athlete. Got up under the lane and stripped away by Iguodala. Ironically, it was in the moments between guarding the league's best players and probing defenses himself as a member of the Golden State Warriors in the Bay Area that Iguodala found an opening into the business world. Had I not been here, I wouldn't have been able to see it up close and personal, um, interact with some of the brightest minds in, in human history, some may say. They're courtside at all our games. They were courtside at the finals, you know, the, the many important games, and uh, was able to get close and rub shoulders with a lot of those folks, but not just rub shoulders, pick their brains about certain things. And I think you just have to let people know your interest in what you're trying to do and, and not being afraid to be told no or be shunned away. It's my pleasure to be here with Andre Iguodala. That was just the beginning of his business journey. There have been meetings with CEOs and internships, talks at Harvard Business. He's become an author and a venture capitalist, amassing over 50 investments, staying true to the phrase, more than an athlete. It's been so interesting to me watching your development as a tech investor. I found uh, another passion that I'm looking forward to when I'm done playing ball that I want to go and dive into and uh, stretch my brain to its limits. Iguodala is looking to establish himself by blazing a trail. Sometimes you have to be selfless and um, see a bigger picture in terms of your, your global impact and your global in footprint. And it's not just about you, but the effect you can have with others. I'm just trying to give that knowledge to the guys and let them know that there's a way to leverage it all. There's a way to maximize your time on the court and still set yourself to you know, gradually transition into life off the court. Outside of his time in the boardrooms, Iguodala has stayed NBA ready in anticipation of a return to the court. I feel really good. You know, um, I said it before, it's been a good break for me in terms of where I've come from. Mentally, it's just very fatiguing to play six years of basketball in five years. And uh, it's been good for the brain, it's been good for the body. But uh, just keeping myself ready. It's so impressive, everything that Andre Iguodala has been able to do off the court. But the last time we saw him on it was game six in 2019 of the NBA Finals. But now he's going to the Heat. So, I mean, the question is, what does he add? Well, a lot of the things that Iguodala adds goes far beyond the numbers. He mm -hmm. gives you veteran leadership. He, he, he understands the game. His IQ is high. And the intangibles, you know, you can put him on the other team's best player. You can use him as a ball handler. I mean, there's so many little things that he brings to the table that numbers don't always show his value. And I think that's going to be great taking pressure off Jimmy Butler as far as on both ends of the court. 
I don't think he's going to log heavy minutes throughout the regular season. I think he will be more of a situational guy when the playoffs come around. I also think a, a big time get for them was Jay Crowder. Because yeah. it also gives him another younger player that they can put on the likes of another guard that spelled. Jimmy Butler is one of the few players in the league that plays both ends of the court, right? Mm -hmm. So you want Jimmy Butler to be your closer. You need a guy like Andre Godala or Jay Crowder to help assist that defensively for a while while Jimmy focuses on offense. Their value really pays off if they go deep into the playoffs because they have an mm -hmm. understanding of the moment. You know, the Miami Heat have a lot of young guys who've never been to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I see Jay Crowder and Iguodala's uh, value coming in at. Yeah, and he's played in 145 postseason games. Yep. So Andre Iguodala certainly has that type of veteran leadership that he'll be adding to the Heat as well as all of his business acumen, apparently. So I hope they start picking his brain. Uh, Sports Center tonight after Trailblazers and Jazz with Stan and Neil. We're going to have the annual Oscar night looking at the sporting world's best performance. Performances. That'll be fun. Okay. 76ers, okay. Are they going to continue to not play very well? Is it on the road or is it at home? It's at home. What do you oh, think? They'll They're going to beat Memphis? They'll, they'll be fine. All right. Either way, you're going to see what happens on SportsCenter after the game on ESPN and streaming live on the ESPN app. Come on, Joel. Okay. We're not even talking about Joel. Don't count these guys I know. out. No, we're, no one's counting them out. Facts. Kyle Lowry needs nine points to pass Vince Carter for third in franchise history scoring list for the Toronto Raptors. I know, right? Word? What's happening tonight? He's been there the longest.